So we're going to look at how we could find the equation of a line when we know the slope and the y-intercept of this line. So the equation of any line can be given by this relationship right here, y equals mx plus b. And of course your y and your x, those are the, the points that would make up, up the graph. We have an x-axis here and a y-axis here. And so there's a series of points that are making up this line. So y and x would be your variables. m, m here is your slope. So m is the slope of the line. And b, this number at the end here we call b, b is the y-intercept. So b is the y-coordinate where the, your graph crosses the y-axis. So this is the y-axis right here. So where does this line intercept or cross the y-axis right here. So in this particular graph I would say the y-intercept where the graph crosses the y-axis the y-intercept is 1. So in this graph B or my y-intercept say the y-intercept is 1. And now I just need to find the slope. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to find another point that's on my line right here and let's change our color here so remember slope we've done this before slope is rise over run so to go from this point to this point I need to go up one and over three so my rise is run sorry my rise is one and my run is three so slope m m is the slope Remember from before that slope is rise over run. How far up did we go? We went up 1 and we went over 3. So the slope is 1 third. So now that I have my slope and my y-intercept, I can say that the equation of the line, equation, EQN, equation of the line, is y equals mx plus b and I have calculated the slope of this line it's one-third and I have my y-intercept that's one so the equation of this line right here is y equals one-third x plus one now if we wanted to say find out what the y-coordinate when x is three so let's say we want to find y when x is 3, well, I have my equation, y equals 1 third x plus 1. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to put in, oh, we've already done 3. Let's, let's try a different point. Let's try 6. Sorry, let's find y when x is 6, because we've already got that point in there. So we would have 1 third times 6 plus 1. And of course, the number 6 is like 6 over 1. So 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. And we can kind of see from our graph here that when x is 6, the y value would be 3. My line didn't exactly snap perfectly to the grid lines there. But algebraically, when x is 6, the y value will be 3. Let me work it out. Let's look at another example here now. Let's find the equation of the line that we've got drawn here. So the equation of the line given by y equals mx plus b. So we need to determine what is the y-intercept of this line and what is the slope of the line. Well, the y-intercept is always the easiest thing to find. Where does it cross the y-axis? crosses the axis at minus 2. So the y-intercept, or b, is negative 2 in our equation. And now we need to find the slope. So I've got another point over here. And always moving from left to right to find slope. In this case, it looks like I need to go down 3. So my rise is going to be negative 3 and over 1. So slope is rise over run, which
which is minus 3, because I had to go down 3 over 1, and I can reduce that to minus 3. So the equation of this line is y equals m, which is minus 3, x plus, whoops, not plus, b is minus 2, minus 2. So y equals negative 3x minus 2. And so I w if I wanted to know, let's say, what is y when x is minus 4? If that's the question, then all right. I'm going to put minus 4 in for x. Being careful with my signs here, negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12, and 12 minus 2 is 10. So if x were minus 4 out here, there would be a dot way up here at 10 somewhere. So that's how we can come up with equations of lines um, when we have the graph. Let's go the other way around now. Let's say we've got the equation of the line and we want to draw the graph. Let's look at a couple of those examples. Here's an equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. And then let's say we need to identify what the slope and the y-intercept is because we're interested in graphing this line. So we know that the general form of a of a line, the slope-intercept form of a line rather, is y equals mx plus b. So whatever number is here is your slope, and whatever number is found here is your y-intercept. So then looking at this pattern, this would be my slope here. Slope would be 2 thirds, and this number at the end here is going to be my y-intercept. It's where my graph is going to cross the y-axis. So a slope of 2 thirds and a y-intercept of minus 1. So now we should be able to draw a graph. And we'll assume each of these points is worth, worth 1. So I need a y-intercept of minus 1. That means I'm going to have a dot right there. So I plotted my y-intercept. Now I have a slope of 2 thirds. So from my y-intercept, from this point right here, I need to have a rise of 2 and a run of 3. So from here I'm going to go up 2 and over 1, 2, 3. There will have to be another point on my line because the slope is up 2 over 3 rise over run. And I could do another point from here if I want. I got to continue to go up 2 and over 3 dot. And I could even go this way still following the same pattern of the up 2 over 3. And now I just got to draw my line as best as I can. A ruler would be good. There's my my rough sketch of my line. So this would be a line that has a y-intercept of minus 1 and a rise and a run, or a slope of, of 3. We'll look at one more example here. Let's say we know that a line has a slope of minus 2 and the y-intercept is also minus 2. So let's say we have to come up with the equation and the line and then graph the line. So there's our equation, y equals mx plus b. So the slope is minus 2, that's going in there for m and the y-intercept is minus 2, that's going to go in there for b. So there's the equation that I need to draw, y equals negative 2x minus 2. And getting the graph back on here. Let's do a blue, let's do a blue, a blue graph. The y-intercept is minus 2, so I'm going to come down here to minus 2 and I'm going to put a dot. There's my y-intercept. So always plot the y-intercept first. Now we got to now we got to plot the slope. The slope was minus two, which is really minus two over one. So we need a rise of minus two, which means we're going to go down two, and then we're going to go right one. So from my y-intercept, go down two and over one and there will be another point on the line. Go down 2 over 1, another point on the line. <clears throat> I could also go up 2 over 1, 
and put a dot there. And there's my beautiful looking line. Not so beautiful because I didn't use a ruler, but um, there's the uh, there's the uh, graph of the equation y equals minus 2x minus 2. So let's summarize how we can use uh, the slope intercept form to find the equation or if we have the equation to create the graph. So the slope intercept equation of a line is going to be given by y equals mx plus b where m is the slope the rise over the run and b is the y-intercept which is of course where the cross where the graph crosses the y-axis. So if we're going to draw the graph of a line from the equation, so for let's say for example the equation is y equals 2x minus 3, the first step to do is to determine what the slope and the y-intercept of the line is. So the slope is 2, that's the number in front of x, and the y-intercept is minus 3. So we would first, sorry, we would next plot the y-intercept on a graph. So the y-intercept was minus 3, so I'm going to put a dot on minus 3. There's my y-intercept. And then step 3, from the y-intercept, I'm going to use the slope, which is 2, or 2 over 1, to get another point in the graph. So from here, I'm going to go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. And then finally, we would connect these points in a straight line. Whoop, that wasn't a good one. There we go more or less a straight line. Again, use a ruler. And we would have the graph from our equation. So getting the equation from the graph. So here I've got a graph here. The first thing I want to do is determine the place where the graph crosses the y-axis. So this graph is crossing the y-axis, that's the vertical one, at 1. So I know now that b, or the y-intercept, is 1. The next step I need to do is determine what the slope between two points on the graph is. So I've got a point right here, and I've got another point located right here. And so it looks to me like the rise would be minus 2. I'm going to be going down 2 here. So slope m minus 2 over 1, 2, 3. So my slope, which is rise over run, would be negative 2 over 3. And now I just need to enter these parts, place the slope and y-intercept into the equation. The equation is y equals mx plus b. And so now that I've found the slope and the y-intercept, y will equal negative 2 thirds x plus 1. So that's the slope-intercept form and how we can uh, see the relationship between the equation of the line and the slope, uh, uh, the equation of the line and the graph of the line.